Hi, I'm Dr. George Regal. I'm the owner of Healthy Homes Incorporated. And today, you're going to watch a video on the proper removal, cleaning, and replacement of the Honeywell HEPA Charcoal Filtration Unit, model number 17,000. This is the Honeywell Portable HEPA Charcoal Air Filtration System that I use in my house. It has a off button on top, a high setting, which is pretty loud, a medium setting, and a low setting. And if you notice, the pre-filter light is on, showing that the filter needs to be changed. The HEPA filter is not, light is not on and does not need to be changed at this time. I've been using these units for over 20 years and have had great success with them and I recommend them to all my clients that have indoor air quality problems. We're in my garage and the reason why we're in my garage is because you're going to need a, a wide open space, a little bit of room to work. So what you're going to need quickly is a disposable bag, you need a pair of gloves, some antimicrobial Steri-Shell solution available at my online store, a few disposable rags, the Honeywell Universal Replacement Pre-Filter, also available at my online store, a small handheld vacuum or a vacuum with some attachments. Okay, so now I put my gloves on and we're going to look for this large white knob on the side of the All we're going to undo is unscrew this knob. It's very simple. We're going to set that aside and we're going to carefully lift off this side cover. And right off the bat, if you notice, there's some fuzz or some dirt. There's all kinds of particulate already on the edge of this filter. Now we're going to pull this complete unit out and the HEPA filter is underneath this black charcoal pre-filter. There's a tremendous amount of dust, dirt, particulate, and all kinds of nasty things that can irritate uh, allergies, people with asthma. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look for are these tabs, these Velcro tabs that come with the pre-filter. It's just set this whole filter in the bag itself. And a good idea is to lightly mist the filter, the dirty filter. Once that is done, you carefully peel this filter back. And this is the HEPA filter that we're going to set aside for right now. So right now we can seal this up a little now bit. We remove the pre-filter, bagged it up, threw it away, and here's the HEPA filter. Okay. Set it aside, and we're going to take a look at the inside. There's quite a bit of dust, dirt, around the vent openings where the air intakes and where the air leaves. So we're going to want to clean that out before we replace. So now I'm going to start cleaning. <laughs> So as you can see, after the vacuuming process, we got most of the particulate out as we can get out. The next step would be washing it with my antimicrobial Steri-Shell solution. But for this step, I'm going to take it one step further and show you how to use compressed air also. Again, the compressed air is certainly not necessary, but if you have it, it might make it a little bit quicker and a little bit more thorough process, but again, it's not necessary. Uh, after we vacuumed out the unit and or used the compressed air as an option, we'll begin taking a damp cloth and wiping around the outside. And again, the unit is off and the unit is unplugged during this process. This entire process is very important. And then I'm going to spray my antimicrobial Steri-Shell solution all through these little fins and these little openings. And then take another rag and we're going to wipe the inside of that. 
the unit is very spotless, very clean, and ready for your new filter. We want to just gently wipe the HEPA filter off. Again, the light was not on, so we don't need to replace this. We're certainly just going to put this back the in new charcoal pre-filter. This is the packaging. Here's these two Velcro strips that we're going to use to attach the pre-filter. Now you notice it's a little bit large. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut this down to size. Using scissors, we're going to cut this filter in half. It doesn't have to be perfectly the same size as this filter. We're just going to roll this around the existing HEPA filter that we took off, overlap it slightly, and snug it up real tight, and use the Velcro attachments that come with the pre-filter. So all we do again is just slide this right in, lay it down flat. Wipe off this cover. You place the cover back on and you grab your connection that just screws on by hand tightening. You don't need to tighten it really hard. Just hand tighten it. We're ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to test it. We're going to start it off on the high and level. You can hear the cool air. You can hear the machine running. Now, what we want to do is reset this light, and now the light goes off. Now, automatically, this light will come back on when this filter needs to be replaced again. So now we finished cleaning the Honeywell portable HEPA filtration unit. We're going to plug it in back into my bedroom, turn the unit on high. We're ready to go to have clean, fresh air for you, your family, and your pets. Make your home a healthy home.